The core of Spark SQL is Data Frame API. Let's try to understand data frames by comparing it to RDD. RDD or Resilient Distributed Dataset is nothing but a list of distributed records where a record could be anything. The format of a record in an RDD could be anything. Record could have tuples, objects, strings, numbers, or binary array. There's no compulsion of any structure in an RDD. Hence, RDD is generally called unstructured data. We do not know the fields inside a record and their data types. To process the data in RDD, we need to mostly write code by the way of transformations or actions. This is not as efficient for churning data as SQL or R. So, Spark team, while working on Spark SQL, came up with the idea of data frames similar to the data frames of R. The data frames are basically structured RDD, very much like database table. Each record or row has same number of fields with same data type. While an RDD can accommodate any kind of data, a data frame can provide very simple processing using languages such as SQL or R. We can easily filter, group, or sort the records based on various fields values. So, a data frame is a collection of data organized into named columns, meaning the data frame has columns and each column carries a name. This data frame is distributed because under the hood, the data frame is an RDD. So, data frame too has partitions. Each partition has subset of rows and partitions could be located on multiple machines. Please note that the whole record or row will not be distributed. The concept of data frames is very similar to data frames in R or data frames in Pandas library of Python. Data frames can be constructed using the structured data files such as CSV or JSON. From the tables in Hive, the tables in relational databases such as MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, or Microsoft SQL. The data frames can be converted from existing RDDs by parsing the records and imposing a schema on the RDDs. If we cannot directly load something into data frames, we first create an RDD and then convert the RDD into data frame using transformations or actions. We can access the data frame using Scala, Python, R, and Java. The API query is available in Scala, Python, R, and Java, and this API includes the ways of churning or processing data using SQL queries or using R kind of conditions.